In reaction to rising water rates from their supplier, the city of Flint, Michigan changed its water source to the Flint River, a well-intended measure that had disastrous consequences. This new water source and inadequate water treatment caused lead to leach into the drinking water, setting off a major public health crisis. In some homes, lead levels measured 10 times higher than the limits set by the Environmental Protection Agency. We're here today to look at the story of how Flint is using copper tube to replace all of its lead service lines to protect the health of the community and provide clean, pure, safe drinking water through copper piping. In 2016, with funding from the EPA, the federal government, and the state of Michigan, Flint set about to replace all of their lead service lines, but a replacement material had to be selected. We had had an offer of using plastic pipe um, and, and offered for all the plastic pipe to be uh, for free to the city. Uh, that was certainly initially attractive, superficially attractive, but there were enough concerns with the different types of plastic um, that we didn't feel comfortable doing that. With copper, we know we have the track record, and we can tell our residents that. When looking at replacement materials, the city of Flint sought technical advice and assistance from Dr. Mackenzie L. Davis, Emeritus Professor of Environmental Engineering at Michigan State University, and plumbing industry experts, including the Copper Development Association, a not-for-profit trade association that is the information, education, market and technical development arm of the copper, brass, and bronze industries in North America. After extensive research, it was concluded that copper was the optimal choice. The metal has been used to deliver safe drinking water for thousands of years because of its corrosion resistance, impermeability, and durability. While plastic piping has been used in other municipalities due to its low initial cost, many of these municipalities are now questioning its value shorter than expected service life, contamination events due to chemicals leaching through or from the plastic, and overall maintenance issues have them switching back to copper. Flint decided that for long-term value, and most of all the safety of their residents, copper was the right choice to replace all of their lead service lines. If we replace a line with copper, we know that in 10 years we're not going to be digging it back up again. Um, we know that it's going to last probably longer than these houses are going to last. Um, so economically just made the most sense. What initially was estimated to be 15,000 lead service lines in need of replacement quickly became a possible 29,000. The city service line records were documented on hundreds of various cards with differing information. CDA got involved to make sure that Flint was able uh, to offer copper to the, the residents, make sure that the, the water would be safe, and that the service lines they put underground were going to last for another hundred years. The assistance from the Copper Development Association was invaluable to the city of Flint. When they assisted us in acquiring some copper piping, that was the point in time, I think, that residents of the city truly realized that the city was committed to replacing all the service lines in the city. Crews and Flint are working diligently to excavate the streets, remove the old lead pipes, and replace them with new copper ones. This is a multi-year effort, targeting the replacement of about 6,000 lines each year. The city is on pace to wrap up the project ahead of schedule, weather permitting, giving homeowners the peace of mind that they can once again drink, bathe, and cook with Flint water without fear of lead poisoning. I went in and told my wife that we finally got our water turned back on. She goes, good, first thing you're going to do is dishes. <laughs> Flint was a wake-up call and the time to act is now. All lead service lines need to be removed to eliminate the risk they continue to pose to drinking water quality and public health. Copper plays a vital role in making the next generation of water infrastructure safe, healthy, and secure. There's about 10 to 11 million estimated service lines in North America that are going to have to be replaced. And by and large, cities are choosing copper to replace them because they know it's the right choice for this application. The Copper Development Association is not only committed to helping the city of Flint, but other municipalities in similar situations looking to rebuild their aging water infrastructure by providing assistance with proper design, installation, and operation.